this love affair It used to be just physical But now it's just too emotional for me Lil Twist's career began at full speed. At 7, he started rapping, and by 10, his record The Texas Twist went number 1 for 6 weeks straight. By 13, he was signed to Lil Wayne's Young Money imprint, which spawned stars like Tyga, Nicki Minaj, and Drake. He was even best friends with superstar Justin Bieber. With Twist having such major connections, you'd expect his career to have skyrocketed, but it didn't. After 14 years of being signed, Lil Twist still hasn't released a debut album or solidified himself in music, while his peers have all surpassed him. In this video, we uncover what happened to Lil Twist. Lil Twist was born Christopher Lynn Moore on January 11, 1993 in Dallas, Texas. He was raised by his mom, who brought him up in the church, he even aspired to be a preacher. Twist grew up listening to the artists his mother liked, such as Marvin Gaye, LL Cool J, and Tupac. He would later develop a strong affinity for Andre 3000. Wanting to be like his cousins who nicknamed him, he started rapping at 7. What's the whole twist thing? How did, how did that come about? You're like, I'm gonna be a little twist. Uh, my cousins tried to make fun of me because I never got braids. Like, mm -hmm. I always tried to get braids. Right. But my mom used to put these little twist things in my okay. head. His sister worked at Big T Plaza in a store across from a CD store owned by a label owner, Diamond D. One day, Twist came into the store for an album signing for Lil Zay. Lil Twist told Zay he wanted to rap, so Zay introduced him to his team. Twist came into the store another day and approached the owner, Diamond. Probably thinking Twist would come up short, Diamond challenged him to rap for people around the mall for money, and he came back with 12 bucks, which led to him getting signed to Diamond Records. In 2003, Lil Twist's song, The Texas Twist, was put into DJ Greg Street's Battle of the Home Jams contest. The song didn't win, but the station kept it in rotation. With the help of a street team, the song went number one locally for six weeks straight. However, Twist's reign was cut short when the song got pulled due to new leadership at the radio station. Twist's newfound attention was both a gift and a curse. On one hand, he caught Jermaine Dupri's eye and built other key industry connections. On the other hand, Twist's grades took a nosedive, which led to the label owner taking Twist's project off the shelves. This upset Twist's mother, Rhonda, who had become the label's president because she felt his academics were private, so she removed Twist from the label. One connection Twist made was Lil Wayne's manager, Cortez Bryant, who he met backstage at a Young Jeezy concert. Cortez gave Twist his number and Twist would call it daily to Noah Bell. One year later, Wayne was performing at the Oil Palace and the promoter was going to let him open. However, when Twist arrived, the promoter had changed his tune. Denied. So he found Cortez, who after much begging, allowed him to perform. Twist impressed them and was shortly signed to Young Money in 2007. Twist meeting Wayne when he did was divine, because one year later, Twist's father was sentenced to 75 years to life, and Wayne stepped in to be a father figure. In 2008, ready to go all in, Lil Twist dropped out of high school. That year, he was featured on Lil Wayne's Dedication 3 and began talking about his debut album, Don't Get It Twisted, being released soon. Make sure you pick up my album coming real soon, called Don't Get It Twisted. In 2009, Twist released his first mixtape since being signed, Yearbook, and would later release another, Class President. On the track, I'm Great, Twist playfully disses Drake, hinting at some resentment towards his success. And I'm like, man, I was here first. Why the f is Drake about to come off the label first? I would take it upon myself to go and make diss songs about Drake and email them to them. Young Money covered the source, but Twist wasn't featured despite having recently released a project. In December, the top 10 album, We Are Young Money, was released. Twist was on two songs, most notably Girl, I Got You with Lil Chucky. In January 2010, Lil Twist began his debut album rollout with Little Secret featuring Bow Wow. That year, he also started gaining press for his contributions to the Wheezy Thanks You blog and Wayne's Twitter account while Wayne was incarcerated. Every time he called, like, I just update everything he wants.
This would be the start of an ongoing practice of him building his name off of his associations. In July, in an interview with Wrap Up, he discussed his relationship with Justin Bieber, another frequent topic, and said that his album was coming out later that year. You could expect a little twist album this year sometime later on this year. And when he should have been talking about his debut album, he told the LA Times that he and Justin were doing a joint mixtape called Best of Both Worlds, a debut album that was supposed to come out in 2008 and now in 2010 was pushed back yet again to 2011. However, in lieu of an album, he released a mixtape, The Takeover, and was in Lottery Kick It and featured on Lil Wayne's I'm Not a Human Being album. In 2011, it seemed like Lil Twist was refocused on his album, which now had a release date for June 21st. He appeared on Khalil's Halo Mama, released Love Affair featuring Lil Wayne, and then New Money featuring Michonne. That year, he was also a part of XXL's freshman class and released a clothing line, Young and Twisted. However, no album came out, but he released the Golden Child mixtape. In January 2012, Lil Twist released Turned Up featuring Busta Rhymes. He also released a joint mixtape with Khalil, Three Weeks in Miami. Readying his album's release, Twist ramped up press by going on 106 in Park and Sway. The latter, he told, his album was coming on March 28th. And so you got the album finally coming out. Yeah, man, Don't get finally it coming out. We've been working hard on this album for, for years. Actually going through my whole artist development process. And um, now we're ready. And yep. Don't Get It Twisted comes March 20th. On March 24th, Young Money Headquarters posted Twist's album cover, but said it was coming April 17th. March and April came and went, and there was still no album. In an interview with Billboard, Twist said, the whole thing is that when I come out with my first work of art, don't get it twisted, I don't want it to be talked about for the wrong reasons. I want to make sure that the piece of work is A plus and 100%, then everybody will have it. In 2013, discussions of his debut album ceased as Little Twist was smeared by the media for being a bad influence on Justin Bieber. Countless articles were released regarding Lil Twist being in traffic stops, car crashes, causing ruckus in the neighborhood, and being accused of robbery and battery with no proof. The whole narrative that the media built around Twist was racist. Twist, despite being only one year older than Justin, was blamed for any of Justin's wrongdoings and demonized for doing the same stuff that young, rich, white Hollywood kids do all the time. Lil Twist believed that Justin's manager Scooter Braun was planting these seeds, so Lil Twist tweeted, F you Scooter and everything you stand for, and all your fake stories. It was all planned out, all a setup, every story. That following year, Lil Wayne threatened Scooter. In spite of the drama, Lil Twist attempted to be productive. He released Understand Me and a song with Justin and Miley Cyrus, Twerk, Bleak, Twisted voiceover for Disney's Fish Hooks. There were also talks for him to do a show on Diddy's Revolt channel. In 2014, Twist was on Young Money, Rise of an Empire. Months later, he released singles from the Golden Child 2 mixtape, which was set to release in October. When the mixtape didn't come out when he said it would, Lil Twist went on a rant. Throughout most of 2014, Twist managed to stay out of the headlines, but found himself back in trouble when he allegedly attacked Kyle and Christopher Massey. He was charged with criminal threats, burglary, grand theft, battery, and two counts of assault with a deadly weapon, and was facing up to 25 years of jail time. However, Twist took a plea deal and was only sentenced to one year. Prior to serving his sentence, Lil Twist finally put out his mixtape, The Golden Child 2, after a year plus long delay and released another one called Anger Management. In 2017, Lil Twist began serving his sentence and was released after only seven and a half weeks. In retrospect, Twist has said that jail was life changing. You know, I had none but time to think on a sober mind and, and I was able to get myself back together. Following his release, he put out mixtape Young Carter, and he critiqued his manager because he wanted it to come out while he was in jail. When I was in jail, I was telling my manager, Tess, to make sure he dropped the first Young Carter. But I was telling him to drop the first Young Carter, and they didn't drop it. Um, 
as soon as I wanted him to. By August, Twist was telling outlets that he was working on Young Carter too. Fast forward to April 2018, Lil Twist put out Fire and Desire with Wayne and Trippy Red. He dropped a diss track, message the good music, sending shots to Pusha T. Lil Twist also dropped the pre-game mixtape. In 2019, Lil Twist joined Growing Up Hip Hop, and in 2020, he was on Lil Wayne's funeral album. By this time, nearly three years later, Young Carter 2 still hadn't been released. Twist told Not Rated Radio that its delay was because he was perfecting it. He also mentioned waiting on his manager Cortez Bryant to do his job. So what happened to Lil Twist? Lil Twist came into the industry hardworking. Man, man, you think I'm be but over time got lost in the fast life and chose loyalty over business. He habitually made false promises regarding projects. Now if it's his manager Cortez Bryant's fault or the labels as twist his claim, then why are you still with them? Especially when it's not as though they are incapable. Cortez has managed artists like Little Nas X, Nicki Minaj, Drake, and Lotto. He puts in work, just not for Twist. I believe Twist stays out of loyalty. He sees them as family and they've taken care of him. Twist mentioned not feeling pressure to release music because he doesn't have to worry about putting food on the table. Thank God for being able to stay afloat in uh, the relationship me and Wayne sustained because I didn't have to force my hand to keep up with the times to try to keep food on the table to try to make a song like what's going on today. I would rather just try to keep perfecting my craft and stay true to myself and wait for music to change again. After 21 years of rapping, his craft should be perfected. Twist has recently come out and said that his debut was never released because of a Xanax addiction. Now when Twist was a child and his label removed his project due to a personal matter, he fought it and he should have done the same with Young Money. Another example of loyalty costing him is his relationship with Justin Bieber. The only things he got out of it was bad press and a fun time, while Justin benefited by having a fall guy and Twist introduced him to one of his main writers, Pooh Bear. Twist claims he could have gotten a finder's fee for it, but he didn't. It seems like he repeated this with Trippy Red, who stayed with Twist when he first came to LA and he wanted to sign him. Trippy now works with Twist's manager and gets more out of him than he ever did. Back to Justin, those years Twist spent hanging out with him should have been spent focusing on himself. I'll give him that he has consistently put out mixtapes, but he wasn't giving his 100% effort. Twist has been signed way too long not to have much to show for it. Ultimately, I feel like we still don't know his true potential. This is what happened to Lil Twist. Please like, comment, and subscribe. Let me know who else I should cover in this series. Thanks for watching.